It's been another tough day for Prime Minister nominee Lee Wan Gu, who continued to be grilled on this second and last day of his confirmation hearing. Opposition lawmakers voiced their suspicions about his assets, while the opposition party leader dropped hints that his approval may not go through. Our National Assembly correspondent Park Ji Won starts us off. The second day of the confirmation hearing for the nation's Prime Minister nominee Lee Wan Gu began on Wednesday. Lawmakers from both parties are continuing their inquiries into a series of allegations against the former ruling Henry Party floor leader. In an apparent show of support for the nominee, his fellow Henry Party lawmakers focus primarily on questions about his future policy goals. Lawmakers from the main opposition party, meanwhile, pressed the 65-year-old nominee and more than a dozen witnesses on allegations, mostly surrounding his family's wealth, his involvement in real estate speculation, and questions about his election campaign funds. You can't explain where the money came from, so you told us that you borrowed around 220,000 U.S. dollars from your brother. According to the political fund law, if you borrow money from your siblings, you don't have to report it. But we heard your brother is not well off at all. This is what my brother told me. I do have savings worth some one million U.S. dollars in Korea. I'm not poor. I will give you proof of it so you can submit it as evidence in the hearing. Meanwhile, the main opposition party's new chairman, Moon Jae-in, hinted that his party might not confirm the nominee. He said that even though the party had hoped to confirm him, as this is the third attempt to replace incumbent Prime Minister Jung Hong-won, it might be difficult. Speaking at the party's Supreme Council meeting on Wednesday morning, Moon added the party will decide its official stance on the nominee on Thursday morning after the two-day confirmation hearing. The previous two nominees both withdrew their names from consideration due to mounting allegations surrounding their past. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.